Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be learning how to launch our EC2 instance into a specific availability zone. We are going to be launching our EC2 instance into the US East 1 region and we are going to be launching our EC2 into the US East 1B availability zone. To do that, let's go to the management console. So in my management console, the first thing we have to do is change our region. Currently, I'm in the Ohio region, so I'll select this drop down and I'll change my region to the US East North Virginia region. Next, we are going to click on service, select EC2 under compute, and we'll select launch instance and click launch instance again. Let's select the Amazon Linux AMI. And we are going to use the general purpose G2 micro. Click next to configure instance detail. On this page, we are going to leave everything as default, but to change your availability zone to the specific availability zone you want, you will come under subnets and select the drop down. And in AWS, the subnets are connected to the availability zone. So this subnet is connected to the US East 1A and so on. For example, we want to launch it into the US East 1B. So we'll select the US East 1B. We'll leave everything else as default. We'll click next to add storage. We'll leave the storage as default. Click next to add tags. And we'll leave the tag as default too. Click next for security group. Let's use the existing security group because this is an example. So we'll click next to review, review everything and click launch. And on the key pair, we can just create a new key pair. If you have an existing key pair, you can use it. And if you don't just create a new key pair and I'll call it EC2 key pair and I'll click download key pair. It's going to download the key pair to my downloads folder and I'll click launch instance. Next, I will click view instance to see our EC2 instance launching. Now it is saying initializing status check. Let's click refresh to see what happens. And it is still initializing the status check. So we'll give it a couple of seconds to finish doing that. Now our EC2 instance has completed the status checks to verify your subnet. So let's come to the subnet. We can click on this subnet and it is going to open it in a different tab. And now we can see that our subnet, which our EC2 instance is launched in, is in the US East 1B availability zone. And it is in the Northern Virginia region. And another thing you should know that is when you launch your EC2 instance, they are region specific. So for example, if I change my region to the Ohio region, I won't be able to see my EC2 instance. So now I'm in the Ohio region. Let's go to EC2. And you can see running instance is zero. That is because the EC2 instance is region specific. So in our case, we launch our EC2 instance in the Northern Virginia region. So let me go back to the Northern Virginia region. And now you can see running instance is one. So this is how you launch your EC2 instance into a specific availability zone in a region. So to terminate this instance, let's click the running instance. And we'll select the instance that is running. Under action, select the drop down. Come to instance state and we'll select terminate. And click yes. And it is going to terminate this EC2 instance. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture.